What's up, Cinema 4D gurus? Today's tutorial is something a little bit cool. A few months ago, I did a tutorial on these kind of noise terrains, these procedural terrains made with octane nodes and noises, and they're a lot of fun, and you can go quite far with them. And organically, I've been addicted to making more of them. And then I decided to animate them, and it's quite fun. So today's tutorial is gonna be building on that. If you haven't seen that tutorial, I suggest checking it out. Uh, I went over kind of the primitives of it uh, in, in that tutorial and today I, I, I'm kind of going to skip past a lot of that and, and build the terrain very quickly and get into animating it and you create these really cool, they kind of look like X particle sim simulations when they're not. Uh, you, you literally just animate the speed of, of the noise in the texture and it gives a pretty cool looking effect and you can do some really cool things and I've been using it in a couple projects and Today we are going to do that, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Also, quick plug before the body of the tutorial starts, I upload most of my project files from these tutorials and a lot of the things I find cool on my self I store, the project file from this tutorial and the noise terrains from the first tutorial are on there. Uh, there is a sale on at the minute just because of the new year and stuff. I'm trying to get uh, more unique products up there and working on some kind of cool stuff. Uh, so that will be up there soon as well. But if you take anything cool from this tutorial and you want to learn a bit more, uh, I suggest checking it out. Right, cool, let's go. Okay, so now we are in Cinema 4D, let's get started. So, uh, of course I just did it on a plane, now I actually did it on a relatively small plane. That was because when you're bouncing a camera around this massive plane, you're only using about 10% of it, and it's relatively redundant to have like a 400 by 400 plane. Uh, so, and get a bit of render time out of it. So, I dropped in a... Uh, Sky changed it to an RGB spectrum. It's like a Gaussian spectrum. I've been using Octane three years and I can look. Right. So we'll pop that to black and then we'll pop in our texture and just call it soil. One thing I want to suggest here is if you have followed the other uh, tutorial. Uh, you'll know that some of them were rocky, some of them were slightly more uh, terraformed and terrain looking, and this is, I'm going for soil this time. And I have specific values, if you remember, I used the noise, the octane noise, to act as the texture, and then we used the normal noise to act as the, the, the height field, I guess. So, uh, when we use the noise here, and we plug it into the bump, and what I actually do is I have, you know, the, the gamma is a good way to think of as the roughness and I use that and I create the soil. But you could create some really cool things if you do follow the other tutorial and make some rocky, rocky type stuff. Uh, and then you could have some really cool landslide looking stuff going on there. But what we'll do is we'll make this black, blackity black, and we'll put in like 0.04 roughness uh okay so set this to box and then set this to like really really small like 0.175 and then on the actual noise maybe set the octaves to four because we don't need that many octaves we need a lot of omega gamma to about 0.8 that's kind of the perfect in the middle roughness and with the contrast like three uh and then if we pop in a light here and then we're all set to go. Uh, I'll lock this and we'll go F2 cameras trick from the last tutorial and we'll move about here. So what I'll do is pop in a fall off map on the light. I'm gonna do the lighting very quickly. It plays quite a crucial part. Trick, so when you're lighting this, this is our key light. We want all our cameras in our scene to be pointing this direction because this light is gonna catch on the noise. We're gonna have a full light um, against it and then we'll be sitting looking at that light to get the right lighting um, and then we'll add in a fill light here make it a bit thinner and then you know, just kind of bring that down just so that one's a bit more harsh and then drop in one more light bring it up above set it to a disc and fall off map thousand and we'll leave it like that we'll drop in a camera 
We'll maybe jump off to about 80 mil, whatever you prefer. And we'll face, just like I said, that camera. That's quite aggressive right now. Um, let me just turn off these. Don't want to see them. Now we will add in the normal noise. We'll add in the displacement. So if we pop those two together like that, pop the displacement into the displacement, you can see some stuff is happening, but it's not what we want, is it? No. So we'll go to 2K. We'll animate it really, really low, but we'll go to 2K. And I set this to turbulence. And then we unlock octaves. Well done, we leveled up. And then we set them to about 14. Um, and then low clip. Let's go something stupidly precise. I think it was about 50%, but we'll go for about 43. Uh, and then we begin to get something that looks a little bit like soil. Okay, so what I'll do is the next kind of step is in the camera, which is lovely. Bring in our lot. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so I might actually put this over 3.2. Right, so now we're pretty much there. We can get into animating it. Uh, if you want to play with the look, you can. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get the name, you know, with noises, they're procedural. They act how they want. So sometimes it's hard to get the look bang on uh, straight away. But with enough fiddling, that sounds very wrong, uh, you will get there. Um, one thing I think is just holding it back right now is just the detail. And I'm reluctant to work in 4K, but I'm trying to be speedy for the tutorial. Um, if you're an absolute psycho, you can go to 8K, but. I rendered it out uh, as in its final result at 4K, but you kind of have to go to 4K to see that it actually looks like uh, soil. And uh, you know, I, I want these individual grains. I'm actually, I might actually hit a zero on this. Okay, this actually looks really cool. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and keep that in mind. But we were at. 0.175, we'll go to about 0.7 maybe. Yeah, there we go. I just think the scale was a bit too big. Yeah, so here we go. Now now we've really got our circle look on the go. I kept the scale a bit too big there. We love this. We do, we do. We'll put in a little bit of blur. Lovely. So, what's next? Uh, animating it. So I did have to run quite low to uh, animate it. But we'll drop down to about 256 to animate it. Now animating it is a, that actually still looks okay, you know. Uh, is a little bit weird because we have the animation speed here. Now we have all these circles on everything. You can animate anything you want because cinema is awesome. But you can't just turn on the animation speed. You have to animate the animation speed if that makes sense. Do you get what I mean? So the speed of the animation is not from the animation speed, but how quick you animate the animation speed. <laughs> so uh, if we control click on that and we set it to 0.5 and you'll see what I mean. And we go to five seconds in and we go to 0.45. That is lowering itself very slowly. And it's also starting out at the quickest we want it. So it's not and then we also set the animation to linear, so it's not going to be, you see, if you set it to zero and you go to one, it's going to start slow and then get really quick. Do you understand what I mean? So, you won't be able to see it very well, because it won't update, because it's just how noises are. But you've saw the clips at the start, so you know how it acts. Now you could do really cool things. You could have it jumping up and down really quickly. You could animate the height at the same time here. So in between, it's you know going up really high and you could use like sound deformers and then and make it kind of pulse pulse and format itself to some sort of beat or song or something we can come back to yeah we can sit around 2k just now just why you'd provide a bit of further work on it but honestly that's all i did for the animation i didn't go too crazy i did mess around with some different things and maybe animate the low clip a bit and uh, I think it was better than using the amount is to actually use the high clip and 
and apparently, yeah, Ben used the Ambiance Pair, used the high clip and the low clip. So maybe just bring the high clip further to, if you don't know what that means, it, it creates less of a gradient between the noise and it makes it very, very sharp. Uh, so you can animate the low and high clip, uh, well, animate the high clip closer to the low clip throughout uh, the timeline and it will create kind of a jumpy effect. When you animate the animation speed itself, it kind of moves like soil, which is why I like it. You'd maybe have to animate different scales um, and values if you were using a different kind of terrain. So I think the soil works well just for the animation speed in itself with the way it moves. It moves very procedural and very random and simulation-like. Uh, so that's, that's honestly all I'm going to go over. I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, bouncing the camera about and making you watch you've understood it you will be able to create things of this quality very easily render time's not bad either uh so don't worry about that this stuff uh, i mean look at me i'm like a thousand samples and you can't see any fireflies or anything there's a little bit of noise up here but if you add if you add grain and post anyway you won't notice that so I, I, I really, really hope this built on the last tutorial. I, I've been having a lot of fun with this. And honestly, if you follow my Instagram and you follow my Behance or anything, you're probably going to see a lot more of these uh, start popping up. And I'm going to try and maybe add some subsurface materials to them, maybe some metal materials and have like liquid metal. I'm very, very obsessed with noises and I think they're very, very underrated. And, and right now as well, I, I, I think their potential is... Uh, it is it's crazy and I'm going to keep playing with them and I'm probably going to keep producing tutorials on them uh, until I'm known as the noise guy. So, <laughs> who's the guy that only makes tutorial and noises? That's me, I want to be that guy. So, I'll uh, next week's tutorial probably going to be on HDRIs. Uh, a few weeks ago, it was about avoiding HDRIs and directly lighting our scenes. Next tutorial is going to be about getting HDRIs. Uh, and, and lighting realistic scenes too then so we'll focus on that next week or maybe it'll be something else it's probably going to be that though so uh, i'll see you then i'll see you in a few days for that thanks for watching this tutorial please please like send me what you've made on like instagram or twitter or something uh, i'll always see it because i'm addicted to social media why am i not so uh, yeah show me that stuff uh, that'll be awesome uh, thanks for watching this week's tutorial and i will see you next week Thanks to my Patreons if they're left and check out myself while I buy my assets. This project file will be up there. See you in the next one.